Valley store. And I say, uh, Fred, it's Jeff. Um, I, I want to build an airplane. Bring me a bunch of airplane stuff. I want a wing or two. I guess I need two wings. Bring me that tail. I, I want the video games that the pilots play in the cockpit thing. Bring me some seats and some, some wheels and oh, engines. I forgot about engines. And just deliver it to my backyard. And I'm going to take a blowtorch and a wrench and start putting together an airplane. I don't know. Why does the tail have to be in the back? Why, it's called the tail. Why don't we call it the front and put it in the front? And the cockpit in the back. Oh, that might not work. Okay. Well, you get the idea. You're not going to get on an airplane that was built by Jeff, the airplane maker, that way. Why should you read a novel? A thriller. I'll admit. Why should you read a thriller that has not been built according to engineering diagrams, carefully planned out specifications. I outline all of my books. The outline for carte blanche was 140 pages, and because we were working very quickly, that's one of my shorter outlines. The outline starts out being nothing more, um, in uh, the case of my recent uh, book, uh, let's, uh, in, in English it was The, um, um, the Burning Wire, um, a killer wants to use the electric grid to murder people. That was the only idea I had. Over the next eight months, I, I built that up into about a 200-page outline. So at the end of that time, I knew where the book began. I knew where all the characters were introduced in the story. I knew where um, the clues were put into the book in a fair way so that when the surprises came at the end, the readers were not cheated. They were fooled, but they were not cheated. Uh, I do this in the same way that an illusionist plans out his tricks ahead of time, a sleight of hand artist. And um, so only when the outline is finished and the, the, the uh, ending is completely choreographed, only then do I sit down and write the book. Now the outlining process, again, takes about uh, uh, seven to eight months, as it did in carte blanche. And once I know where the book is going to go, then I can write very, very quickly. I can basically write for as long as I can sit in the chair comfortably. 